Right, I'm going to show you how to do 26 pounds and 32 pence. Take away 22 pounds 64. Now both of these amounts are quite close to each other. They're both in the 20s. So I'm going to use a method called counting up or frog. Now with frog, it's like jumping up a number line, like a frog from lily pad to lily pad. Now with this, we turn the subtraction into an addition. And we start with the 22 pounds, 64 pence. So we start with the smaller number, the number we are taking away. And we think, what do we add to this amount to get to our 26 pounds, 32? So we'll jump up our number line. So how many pennies do I add to 64 to get to the next 10p, which is 22 pounds 70? Well, that would be 6p because my number bond with 4 is 6. So now I'm on 22 pounds 70. So now I want to jump up again to the next pound. So what do I add to 70p to get to the next pound, which is 23 pounds. That's my number bond with seven, which is three. And I've got to remember it's a multiple of 10, it's 30p. And it's also important that I remember to put my P sign and my pound sign, so I separate my pounds and pence. It'll make it much easier to add up at the end. So now I want to jump up to my 26 pounds. So to go from 23 pounds to 26 pounds is three pounds. And then I can jump up to 26 pounds, 32 by adding another 32 P. So now to get my answer, all I have to do is add up my jumps. Now, because I've put my P signs and my pound signs, it makes it very easy to add up. And we've got three pounds, we've got 30, P here, 32p here, so that's 62p plus the 6p over here, 68p. So the answer is three pounds, 68.